All right, Shalom, first and foremost, all praise and glories unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Harachachodash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the hopeful elect, the men and women that change their lives towards righteousness and in repentance that they may earn their salvation from Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. In these last days, in the days where our, our faith and our lives will be uh, tested, and uh, and uh, and assaulted, if you will, for our belief in Yahweh, Bashim Yahshua, Shalom unto you. I have to Brother Shaquat from Las Vegas Church, and I uh, want to go into the word tempt or temptation. All right, this is uh, going to be another addition to um, to this uh, uh, series, if you will, of videos, um, particularly about the general understanding of of, of, of of temptation or being tempted okay um just gonna try to keep this simple there's always more scriptures there's always more uh, uh precepts you know but this is just to give a general overview of uh of, of what it's all about okay all right so uh without further ado i'll get the definition i i do like to to have them read it i'm gonna have uh then i'll go into the other words let me pause it and get it what's the definition of tempt Entice or attempt to entice someone to do or acquire something that they find attractive but know to be wrong or not beneficial. Yeah, of course, my phone wants to trip. Come on, come on now. Come on. Here's the definition of temptation the desire to do something, especially something wrong or unwise. Okay, kept it simple. Now, for some reason, my phone don't want to act right, but let me pull up the definitions of these words. Hold on. All right, so here's temptation. The desire to do something, especially something wrong or unwise. And we know that um, the wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, okay, <clears throat> keeps us safe and away from these temptations, okay? So the thing or course of action that attracts or tempts someone, Okay. Uh, the tempting of Yahweh Shai by the devil. See Matthew the fourth chapter. That that is an excellent chapter to see what uh what it was all about. Matter of fact, let me write that down real quick. Um, yeah, Matthew four. Okay. All right, so it says uh, temptare in the Latin. It's a handle test test try. Have you tried my servant Job? Okay, that was a, 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 a moment of temptation, okay, that, that we can use uh, to learn from. Things are written a fourth time are written for our learning. Um, temptation, uh, in old French, uh, equal temptation, it says uh, from temptare, handle, try, test. Okay, let's go to tempt. Let's see if I can read it a bit. Tempt, definition. Come on. Tempt definition. Come on now. Y'all tripping. Here we go. About time. Tempt. Entice. No, they, I had them read it verbally, but let's see the words as well. Tempt or attempt to entice. Excuse me. Entice or attempt to entice someone to do or acquire something that they find attractive. The ways of your flesh are attractive. Okay, the ways of 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 of, of, of uh, holding on to the, to the things of this vain world now are attractive, okay, to your flesh, but it's not necessarily attractive to your spirit, okay. But know to be wrong or not beneficial, okay. It says, look, persuade, entice, indulge, convince. Let's see the other word, smooth talk. Look, I mean. A lot of scriptures come to mind. Um, prophesied not unto us right things, but unto us smooth things. Prophesied deceit. Okay. That's one from uh, Isaiah the 30th chapter, I believe. Uh, it says, an urge, have an urge or inclination to do something. Attract a lure. Look at the, symptom, uh, the sen sentence for that. He was tempted out of retirement to save the team. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, archaic, it says, uh, risk provoking a deity or attract force, usually with undesirable consequences. 
Okay, and these temptations will pull you out of this truth. These temptations will end up uh, leading you to to death. Okay, all come from the same uh, basic word to try out, to test, to handle. Okay, all right. So let's go into some other uh, scriptures. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this one in uh, uh, James chapter one. It is temptation. Yeah, that'll work too. James chapter 1, verse 2 says, My brother, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. Oh, count it all joy? Yeah, because now you have the wisdom to exercise yourself through these temptations. Okay? That's what this is about. Gaining this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Shai and the Holy Spirit that you may be wise to escape these temptations. Okay? Jumping down in that chapter. I got to read this uh, because it's just good. Uh, it says, blessed, James 1 and 12, blessed is the man that endureth temptation. For when he is tried, this is a tryout, right? He shall receive the crown of life. Yeah, once he escapes and he uses wisdom to get through it. Which the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, have promised to them that love him. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of the Most High. For the Most High cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempted he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Okay, then when lust has conceived, it bringeth forth sin. Yeah, because your desires to be outside of um, wisdom, things, what did it say? Things that are not, uh, let me see if I can get it again. Things that are not, uh, let me tempt. That are not that are seem to be wrong. They're attractive, but seem to be wrong or not beneficial. Okay. Let me go back to temptation definition. It said uh, something wrong or unwise. The the desire to do something, especially something wrong or unwise. Okay. That's what we want to stay away from. When he is tried, you get the victory over that, and you win. Okay, back in, uh, I believe it's the uh, 13th, no, 14th verse, it said, but, yep, but every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Okay, then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin. What sin? The transgressions of the law. Okay, so it makes you break the law because you see something that's unwise or that's desirable, that's not beneficial for you or unwise. When it is, when it is finished, bringeth forth death and sin when it is finished bringeth forth death and sin when it is finished bringeth forth death so it shows you how temptation leads you to the to the grave okay so this is why you have to understand that you will be enticed to do the wrong and unwise things all things are lawful but not all things expedient expedient towards your righteousness and your walk towards your house there's some things you're just gonna have to give up Otherwise, you wouldn't or, or have to deal with, you know. Um, okay, so it says, do not err, my beloved brethren. Okay, so don't go off. Stay in the spirit. The spirit will guide you to let you know if something's wise or unwise. And there's plenty of occasions within the scriptures to give example of these things. Okay, stories, situations, okay, and even just precepts. Okay, so from there, we're going to go to Sirach. Right, chapter 2 verse 1 my son if thou come to serve the Lord if you claim to be somebody that wants righteousness and wants to earn your salvation from Yahweh Shai, right it says prepare thy soul for temptation and be prepared to go through it your, your, your spirit's going to be vexed like lot okay agitated okay you're going to your, 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 your flesh is going to want certain things and you're going to have to deny it okay I said, set thy heart aright. Get your mind right to this. That no matter what, you can't be separated from Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, from the love of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Okay? That you're going to make the, the wise decisions of what to and what not to do. Okay? It says, uh, set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. Don't try to rush out of it, but learn the lesson. Especially in these times now before the doors of mercy are shut. 
Because right now in this grace period that we have, we have to practice these things that we'll be ready when the game comes. Okay? You don't just come on to a team and then, all right, coach, I've signed up. I'm on the team. All right, I had a tryout. I got some basic skills. Now let's put me in the game. No, that's not how this works. You still got to train and learn and practice. Okay? And what are we practicing? We're rehearsing the righteous acts. We're practicing the, the, the wisdom and the, the, the law of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. We're practicing the, the, these situations that we will be able to overcome these things when that time comes. Okay? It says, um, Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end, that you will have the strength and, and, and examples to go by in these last days, that you won't be caught um. Uh, caught out there, okay? Whatever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. And you're going to have to be adverse to this world through the temptations that this world is going to throw at us. And there's going to be so many different diverse tem uh, temptations that are going to come our way. Will you eat or will you starve? No, I'm not starving. I'm going to fast. And when the time for me to eat what did Yahweh say uh, to the to the to the serpent? I mean, to the, to Satan. He said, "Get behind me!" But he also said, "Um, man shall not live by bread alone." When he knew he was hungry, and in his weak moment, okay, because he had been fasting forty days and forty nights, okay. All right, so let me move from there. Uh, move from there and go into. Um, let me see. Uh, this word over here on the on the left. Uh, Psalm 95 and 8. Harden not your heart as in the provocation of being provoked. And it is as as and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. Okay, we're gonna go to this one, Matthew 6 and 13. Uh, it says, uh, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. This is part of the Lord's prayer. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Let's see what this word temptation means in the blue letter. Okay. Temptation. G3986. Uh, Purasmos. Pure Periosmos, something like that. Um, Greek inflections of Strong's info says uh, a putting to proof, to prove something by experiment of good, experience of evil, solicitation, discipline, or provocation being provoked, but your discipline has to be uh, on point by implication, adversity. Temptation, try. Okay, hear that word try. Okay. You got to get tried out, man. You got to have a tryout to see if you make this team. All right. Biblical outline use and experiment. Okay. Attempt, trial, proving. All right. So the, uh, the furnace proveth if, if, if uh, the edge of the sword and uh, so are acceptable men. Uh, where was that one at? Sirach, I think it's uh, Sirach 27. Let's see. Let's up around there. Oh, yeah, we'll go right here. The furnace, let me see if it's above that. Yep. The furnace proveth the potter's vessel, so the trial of man is in his reasoning. Now, let me go up a little bit. As when one uh, sifteth with the sieve, the refuse remaineth. The bullshit comes out when when that sifting process happens, when adversity, because you have to agitate the the, the 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 things that are inside the sift to get out all the impurities, all the rocks and gravel or whatever, depending on what you're sifting through. So the filth of man in his talk. So you're gonna find the lowliness, the wickedness in a man through through his speech. Okay, so the furnace proveth the potter's vessel. So the trial of man is in his reasoning. And the way he understands and reasons the things that he does, the way he thinks. 
Okay, the fruit declared that the tree had been dressed. Okay, the fruit, the, the things that, that come from you, prove if you've been uh, edified and, and, and built up through your how about Shem Yahshai, if you've been tried to prove you, right? So is the utterance of a, of a conceit in the heart of man. Okay. Praise no man before thou hearest him speak, for this is the child of men. And when we hear people speak, we hear the BS coming out. Hey, key thing right now is Captain Cesariac. Okay, this man is going all the way to hell off. Every time you turn around, this man is saying some wild shit now. Hey, but you should you should already have been built up, brother. Okay. That's showing you that the tree that you that you've uh, been grafting into over there, at, at the place you at, ain't 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 making sure, you know. It says as as is the leader, so shall be. Um, if the blind lead the blind, okay. And, and your leader is blind over there, man. Okay. If you you want to know when it comes to wisdom as far as ranking over there, from what I see, you the top guy over there, Tazariak. Okay, but the problem is everybody's not following after the righteous spirit, but everybody's following after Yohanna's spirit, which I ain't heard this man give a full scriptural breakdown in years since he flamed in the streets of Philly or whatever, wherever that was at, you know, some, some Jewish ladies. When he was like, you ain't ever been a Jew. That's the last thing I, I, I was ever edified, and that was back in 07, 08, way back then, you know, as far as... uh me hearing this man really break something down in truth okay according to the scripture all right anyway moving on from there so let's go back to where we were um go to uh we'll leave that open it says a trial proving the trial made uh, of you by a bodily condition sometimes it's physical it says since con uh, since conditions served as a test the love of the Galatians toward Paul. Okay. And that's Galatians 4. We'll just grab that scripture right quick. I like when they have those precepts off on the side. Galatians 4 and 14. Oops. 4 verse 14. Let's see where we're at. Yep. Oh, yeah. Galatians 4 and 14 says, You know how through infirmity of the flesh I preached the gospel at uh, unto you at the first and my it's funny these are going to come up in the uh in the in the list over here it says um and my temptation which was in my flesh ye despised not nor rejected but received me as an angel as a messenger of the most high even as um yahweh mashiach okay wherein is the bl uh, blessedness ye spake of uh for i bear you record that if it had been possible, you would have plucked out your own eyes and had given them unto me. Okay. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? All right. <clears throat> and, and and that's going to be part of the temptation. You're going to hope people get this thing and they're not going to get it. Because some is just not for them. Okay. And, and basically saying Paul had fleshly temptation. Okay. He had injuries in those things, infirmities or weaknesses in his flesh. That, that had to be um, dealt with, you know, and, and they, and brothers truly wanted him, but it was needful that he had that, okay, those, those, those infirmities of the flesh, according to his walk, okay, anyway, it says, the trial of man, fidelity, integrity, virtue, uh, constancy, okay, those are huge words, fidelity, only being true to one power, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, integrity, Virtue, constancy, and enticement to sin, temptation, whether arising from the desires or from the outward circumstances. Okay? Make not haste in time of trouble. Hey, deal with it, man. Certain things you're just going to have to meet head on to deal with. And a lot of times it's best that you don't escape for the moment, that, but you deal with it head on, that you don't have to deal with it again later. Because there'll be something later for you to deal with. And if you let one slide, you know, if, if the time isn't wise, if you let one slide and then now you got to deal with two later, two situations later. Hey, you know, may you how about me? I'll shot be with you to see you through it in the way that it should be handled according to your walk. OK, 
It says an internal temptation to sin in your spirit or according to your flesh, something on the inside. It says of the temptation which by the devil sought to divert Yahweh the Messiah, from his divine errand. Yeah, the, the job that he had to do, the things he had to get done, of the condition of things or a mental state. Basically, in that Matthew, the fourth chapter, it goes into um, how he was like, hey, all, all this will I give thee if you will fall down and worship me. Forget going out and preaching and waking all these people up and saving and healing. Hey, just, just deal with me and I'll give you all of this. Okay? If you remember that situation. So the condition of things which... Uh, condition of things or or a mental state by which we are enticed to sin or or to a lapse from the faith of hol and holiness and we got to stay on our p's and q's when it comes to this we can't afford uh, to lapse in these things adversity affliction trouble sent by the most high and serving to test or prove one's character sent as a test to serving to test or prove one's character, faith, and holiness. Temptation, a trial of the Most High by men. Allowing, allowing men on earth with a, a spirit of Satan or the Antichrist to deal with you to see if you're going to divert from the faith. Sometimes it's just your homies are coming around and, and, and offer a situation, a wrong situation to make money. Sometimes they'll come around smoking a blunt, knowing that you used to be one of your, your, your vices that you had when you when you were in the world. Okay? There's different temptations. A, a, a certain woman could come upon you. And now she wants you to live a certain lifestyle. And we've seen men fall out for women. Okay? We've seen these things happen. Okay? And, and some of us have even been tried by them. I, I certainly have. Okay? It says, uh... Rebellion against the Most High by which his power and justice are, as it were, to put the proof and challenge to show themselves. All right. Okay. So let's go back. A couple spots. All right. Yep. Lead us not into those diverse temptations, man. Those different lusts of the flesh. Okay. It says, um. Matthew 26, 41, pray, uh, excuse me, watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Yeah, so which are you going to be ruled by? We need to try to stay locked into the spirit that we uh, can, 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 uh, can escape temptation. Okay, he said, but the flesh is weak and there's, the flesh is always going to want to lead you toward that. Are these in Mark are sim similar to those ones? Yep, Luke 4, when the devil had ended all the temptation, he departed from him for a season. Luke 4 and 13. Um, yep, Luke 8 and 13. They are on the rock. They on the rock are they which, when they hear, receive. Oh, yeah, that's one of my favorite scriptures. Uh, the one in Matthew particularly. But I'll read this one. Luke 8 and 13. They are on the Rock. Oh, let me get. Let me go to this chapter right quick. Okay, this was a parable of the sower, I believe. Yep. Yep. The seed is the. Yep. Now this parable. Now the parable is this. Okay, this is Luke eight and eleven. Now the parable is this. The seed is the word of the Most High. Who's by the wayside are they that hear, and cometh the devil, and taketh away the word out of their hearts lest they should believe and be saved. Yeah, and, and the devil or Satan was always going to come to tempt you away from your Ha'abashim Yahushai. Look at, I mean, Job is, is a prime example of being led away, okay, or, or not being led away, but how he was tried. He, his family was taken, everything around him, his possessions were taken, and his health was even taken, okay? But did he did he, did he he uh, uh, fall away from Ha'abashim Yahushai? The answer is no. And he was, he was restored a hundredfold. Okay? That's what we're battling towards. Okay? It says, uh, And taketh away the word out of their hearts, lest they should believe and be saved. Okay? Uh, they on the rock are they which, when they hear, receive the word with joy, and have no root, 
They, they, didn't, they didn't dig. They had no depth, no, no, no. Um, uh, if you have no root and no deepness of earth, you don't have a foundation to hold up your tree and to grow up and, and tall and upright. Okay. It says for which, excuse me, which for a while believe and in time, the temptation in time of temptation fall the way. Okay. And we don't want to fall away. The biggest time we don't want to fall away is the hour of temptation, you know, when it, you know, when that, when that last final moment, a, hey, and all the world got to get hit with that. All you, all those believers got to get hit with that. Okay. There's no escaping that. All right. Reading on 14 and they, which fell among thorns are they, which when they have heard go forth and are choked with cares and riches and pleasures of this life. And those are the ways of being temp uh, temp uh, tempting you. Okay. With riches and cares and, 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 and pleasures of this life and bring no fruit to perfection. And you can't grow in the fruit and wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, man. You become unfruitful, as it says in, in the book of Matthew. Okay? So these things you can't allow yourself to be pulled away by. Okay, let me see. Ask the Lord's Prayer again. Uh, Luke 22. Yep, that's. Place when they say pray that you enter not into temptation, yeah, that you don't get tempted and tried, man, above that you are able. Matter of fact, let me grab that. Oh, it's right there. Uh, first Corinthians 10 and 13. There have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But the most high is faithful, who will now suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. But will with the temptation also make a way to escape, and that's our job. That's the conditions of the battle that we have to navigate through the bull to find that one righteous, wise route to get out that straight gate, man, the difficult gate, okay? Because it's easy to follow all the people that's going in one way. They're leading you off, off the edge of a cliff. But to take that way, and I always like to envision it as um uh, the golden child with Eddie Murphy when he had to go get the knife. He was going for those little stepping stones. He flipped the coin. And it was a bottomless pit there. Okay? We have to endure that and go through that trying time. Okay? That we may be proven uh, worthy in the, when the day comes. And so, uh, 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 but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. And we just read that one in Galatians on the other side. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See? See these? That's the money one. Let's go to this one in Hebrews. We're, we're gonna get on. We're gonna get into that one. Matter of fact, I'll read it. First Timothy six and nine. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. Okay. Money will will, will pull you away as well. Harden not your hearts, as Hebrews three and eight. Harden not your hearts. As in the provocation in the day of temptation in the wilderness. Okay. James, which we, we read this one. I'll read it again. I read it. Uh, yeah, we got to get this one in Revelation 10. And I'll close out with this one. Uh, Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. Okay, because all the things that, that are coming during that hour of temptation are the things that uh, that, we'll, uh, that we'll want to appease our flesh with. Okay, and they're going to have safety and, 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 and bodily harm and, and uh, um, stability and money and food and cares of the people around you. You know, all of these things are you're, you're going to be tried with. Okay, to take that mark of the beast, but he's gonna keep if we keep his patience, he's gonna keep us from that hour of temptation. It says, which shall come upon all the world. Everybody, the new world order. You're gonna have to deal with this when they're because we're at the beginning stages of the implementation of the new world order. I mean, the the plan is set and 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 ready to be put into order. They're just waiting on the people's minds to be ready to accept it, and we're right at the doorstep of that. It says to try them that dwell upon the earth. And we're, this is a trial that we're going to have to go through. 
We're practicing now the fasting so you can't tempt us with food and drink. Okay? We're denying our flesh so you can't tempt us with the cares of the world. Okay? You can't tempt us with, with diverse uh, breakdowns of these scriptures. Okay? We, we simply seek after the truth. Okay? All right? These different things are going to come upon us to make us believe something that's not true. And, for, and there's going to be a lot of people around us that are going to seem strong and right, that are going to fall away because they didn't have that stability when the time comes. And their temptation and their trial is going to be much more difficult than us that have been practicing it. Okay? If you've been lifting weights for years, you know, you may not be super strong, but you'll be able to deal with, you know, your body will be able to deal with the things that are coming upon it, all, all that, um, the, the adversity that's coming upon it, you know, the trouble that's coming upon it. But when you thrown in the weight room one day and now you've got to lift, no matter how big or strong, that soreness and all that's going to be something that's going to want you to pull yourself away from it. Okay? So you got to think about it in a sense of, Preparing yourself and practicing these, these these righteous acts that when the day comes, your, your faith is on 10 and you ain't got to worry about it. Okay? So, Lord willing, this was edifying. You know, this is a, uh, about temptation. Just a basic breakdown. I just went through, you know, a bunch of scripts in the blue letter and, uh, you know, some on the side, uh, certain situations. Just so we can see that temptation is coming and this is a part of this thing. And what are we tempted by? By the, by, the, by the things of the flesh, the things of the world that we have to deny ourselves from. That doesn't mean go out and be homeless on purpose. That doesn't mean starve yourself to death on purpose. That means do things in wisdom. You know, eat food convenient for yourself. Uh, have um, enough money, your daily bread that you can take care of yourself and, and further the ministry with that, with your energy, with your time, with your spirit. Okay. That that when 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 the, when the, uh, but that you're not so attached to these things that when the world comes, uh, you know when the temptation truly comes and these things are cut off, your your world's not destroyed by it. Okay, what world? The world uh, of righteousness that we're uh, encasing ourselves within through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahshah. Anyway, so Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to give all praise and glories unto Yahweh Bashem Yahshah, Bashem Harakakudash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the elect. Shalom unto you.